the most asked question from sellers and the answers. Stay tuned. Hi there, thanks for watching this week's video. It's Shirley with Shirley's Real Estate Group, John L. Scott, and this is the BS Real Estate Show, buying and selling real estate that is. So these are some of the most asked questions from sellers. When is the best time of year to sell? How do I price my house? How flexible should I be on pricing? How long will it take to sell? And should I avoid being at the house when it's being shown? How do I coordinate the timing with the move? Let's start with when is the best time of year to sell? Prior to COVID, the spring market was one of the best times to sell, so that'd be March and April. You would generally see the biggest increase in prices and closings in May and June, keeping in mind a normal transaction takes anywhere from 30 to 45 days to close, and that would mean that the property went on the market in March or April sometime, possibly the beginning of May. Because of the shortage of inventory, Homes for Sale is driving high buyer competition right now, which has been great for sellers. So I guess the short answer uh, to this question would be right now. Home showings are up over 47%, while inventory of houses for sale are down 43% compared to last year. How do I price my house? Well, you would want to contact your trusted real estate broker to complete a market analysis. And from there, you would discuss your different pricing options and which approach uh, would work best for your situation. How flexible should I be on pricing? This question really depends on how you priced your home to begin with. Did you price um, above market, at market, or below market? This is a conversation we can talk about when we're going over your market analysis and the different options or approaches we have. How long will it take to sell? A typical transaction takes 30 to 45 days to close from mutual acceptance. Mutual acceptance occurs when a buyer and seller have agreed on all of the terms in writing on a purchase and sale contract. The typical time frame is negotiable depending on what the needs are of either the buyer or the seller. Should I avoid being at the house when the house is being shown? For many reasons, the answer to this question is yes. Some buyers feel awkward looking around and envisioning themselves living in the home when the seller is there. Also, if they have a savvy broker, that broker may try and figure out motivation, which could give their buyer a negotiation advantage. Also, things can be said that can muddy the water later down the road in a transaction. What is agreed upon in writing is what's binding, not, well, the seller said X, Y, Z. So that would be some of the main reasons to avoid being present at showings. How do I coordinate timing with the move? I could do a whole video on just this question because it really depends on your specific situation. There are several ways to buy and sell simultaneously. We can go over the different ways to accomplish your moving goals and which options will work best for you. Once we figure out the roadmap, the timing is easy. Well, that's what I have for you this week. If there's a question you have or a topic you'd like to hear about, please let me know. If you like the content, don't forget to smash the subscribe button so you get future videos. Well, that's a wrap, and I'll see you in the next video.